last episode, we ended up making our way from the Hunter's Dream and waking up in that uh, clinic all the way here to the, de um, what was it, the uh, Capper Beast or something? I, I can't remember. <laughs> but anyway, uh, in this episode, we're going to go ahead and light this lamp and head back into the Hunter's Dream for one specific reason. If you notice up there in the upper right hand corner, we have our Blood Echoes, which is just like from Soul, uh, Dark Souls 3, is our currency. The one underneath that is Insight. Now with the Insight, it allows us to see certain things we couldn't see before. And as many Insights you get, more things in the whole world start becoming more apparent and pretty much out in your face. So, another thing is, the doll that was here is now alive. This Hello, is the only way to hunter. get her to I am come a in. doll, here in this dream to look after you. Honorable hunter, pursue the echoes of blood, and I will channel them into your strength. You will hunt beasts, and I will be here for you. To embolden your sickly spirit. Okay, so channeling blood echoes well. is just like from Dark Souls 3 talking to the Shrine strength. Maiden, and we can uh, level close. up. Now shut your eyes. Okay, so we have vitality, endurance, strength, skill, blood tinge, and arcane. Vitality, of course, is for our health, and be able to more t uh, take more hit damage. Endurance is for the stamina and agility, if I'm right. Strength allows us to do certain strength builds, and skill allows us to wield more weapons that aren't more strength based, but they're skill based, meaning we can do more damage with them. Blood Tinge is an interesting one. I didn't know about it until after I found out when I first played this. Blood tinge affects the way our bullets work. The bullets will do more damage pretty much. And Arcane allows us to, it's pretty much just like Faith from Dark Souls 3 where we can use holy weapons. So the skill, the way I want to go for it, I want to do, see, one on vitality, one on endurance, one on strength and one on skill. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and make a build out of those four and see how well it goes. I want to try and at least... Okay, so I'll only be able to get it up that high for right now. Okay, so spin those blood that goes and we pretty much know. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. Okay. So, let me see, what's this? Okay, so Consuming Insight will also give us a Beckoning Bell, which we can use to summon people online, and a Silencing Blink to pretty much cut cut that connection. And then what's this right here? And the Old Hunter's Bell is pretty much just like the... Um, what is it from Dark Souls 3? I think it's the Red Cracked Eye Orb, if I'm right. And we can use that to invade other people's world to gain insight as well. We'll also be getting certain items in the game that will allow us to consume insight. Just, matter of fact, let me show you because I do have a few items that are just like that, but they're for a blood echo. So as soon as it loads up, I'll also show it. Okay, so like I was saying, go into our inventory. We can see we, uh, we have three cold blood dews and thick cold blood. These will end up also giving us extra 
blood echo. So I'll go ahead and show them off. You can also use one or choose to use multiple. And since we only have three, we can use three to gain twice as many as we want. In the thick cold blood, we only have one. And that'll give us just as many as using three cold bloods. Okay, so moving on now. The next stop that we gotta get to is the church. Okay, so we got another blood vial from him, which is good. And now you want to attack me, come on. More blood vials, always good to have on here. Okay. So now we go back down this way that we came before. And we do want to go down this way this time. Okay, so this is going to be one of many side quests that I will be trying to tackle, but we'll come back to this character in a while, because first I want to try and get all the barrels. Okay, so jumping down. Here we'll meet a new character, new NPC, and let's go ahead and talk to her. Oh, a hunter, are you? And an outsider? What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Here, to welcome the new hunter. Okay, so we got a bold hunter's mark. This will be just like the, um, what was it, the uh, feather we get, I think it was, or it was something else. The uh, coiled, uh, uh, the coiled uh, shrine, the, the thing we be using in Dark Souls 3, that's what I'm trying to remember. Prepare yourself for the worst. There are no humans left. They're all flesh hungry beasts now okay so if we talk to her again still lingering about what's wrong a hunter unnerved by a few beasts <laughs> no matter without fear in our hearts we're a little different from the beasts themselves okay so we got a new emote and to change them, just go over to here and hit switch, and you can change from whatever emote you have. So, pretty much that's pretty simple. You can use those to greet people online and whatnot. Now, there is a thing with her where you can kill her now to get her item, but I'm going to wait on that because it's actually going to be worth it later. Granted, we'll probably have already found some stronger items before then, but it's better to wait. I don't want to spoil it for anyone who doesn't know and hasn't played the game yet. But for those who don't know, you know, I don't want to uh, want it to be spoiled. Okay. 
there's one down here. I'm gonna drop down here. Too. There we go. All right, you're dead. Like that. All right. I'm gonna try and wait till he. He already knows. Screw it. Shreds. All right. I see you over there, Mister. Go ahead, shoot me. Well, I didn't actually need it. I should have jumped out. Got more quicksilver bullets out of them. That's all I care about. There's, yep, there's one over here as well. All right. More blood vials, and we're back up to our max. Got another bloodstone shard. I say you can touch me. Okay, Madman's knowledge. That's just what I was talking about earlier. Madman's knowledge will give us a, a bunch, uh, depending on the size of it, will give us a. Don't worry about that, we'll go in in a second, but let me go ahead and show off the item description. Madman's Knowledge, Skull of an Enlightened Madman, used to gain insight. So, pretty much just like I said, that's used to gain a certain amount of insight. And depending on the amount of insight you have in the game, if I remember right how it works, it'll get harder depending on the amount of insight you have. The enemies will become more aggressive, they'll try to kill you even more, and I just got shot in the ass for no reason. These guys are up real quick. Bloodstone shot. Okay, you two, Tweedledee and Tweedledumplup, Please just stop shooting. Give me your bullets. Thank you. Okay. Now. Where was I? Okay. Now, if I remember right, there is a way to get around this. That's what I was looking for with the last boss fight. If we had used the oil urn in the first boss fight, it would have made it a heck of a lot easier. A heck of a lot easier because mixing the oil urn with the Molotov cocktails deals twice as much damage as a normal Molotov cocktail would. There's anything else up here, so we can just go ahead and drop down. Another bloodstone shard. That's good.
Now we can go this way. Uh, let me see here. I want to... What do I have out right now? I want to knock that thing down. Oh, I can't even hit him. Well, I didn't have to worry about knocking down the birds because one of them jumped down and died themselves. There was something back here. Or was that the other one I was thinking of? It's probably the other one. Yep, there's this one. Another bloodstone shard. Birds up here. Um, it's a good thing those pebbles do do a little bit of damage. Okay. So this is gonna be the challenging part. way to take that thing out. Hit him from behind with a strong attack and then just freaking shove your hand up his ass. Like literally. Okay, so we got the Saw Hunter badge. Uh, okay, Saw Hunter badge. Badge of a workshop sanctioned hunter. Um, there's no way to really look at it unfortunately. Okay, so now come over this way. And we pretty much created a shortcut to where we would have had to walk, as soon as I can get a good view on it, we would have had to walk along that long bridge right there. And it was actually a trap. And since we've done that... Okay, so he pretty much did most of the work for us killing himself and killing everyone else. Which is very good. Didn't have to worry about fighting them. <laughs> okay, so that should have killed them all. It did. Yep. Got some more blood balls. Okay, now you actually do want to come back this way because it'll activate this, this elevator which you can use to ride up from the uh, central yard. It's a neat little shortcut that you can take, or you can. I should say not just Central Yarnum lamppost, but also the Great Bridge lamppost. And you can use it to get back here. Now this next boss fight, I'm going to actually recommend this now. Uh, put the tiny... Uh, not there, but the tiny music box. Put it right here. Okay. Because we'll need it in the next boss fight. your attention. Got you. Got you. Good night. Alright. Like I'm Fuso dying or uh, punching the heck out of her chest. <laughs> okay, so this boss fight, when I first played it, well, it's a little bit difficult, but I think I did find a way to really make it a lot easier.
beasts all over the shop. You'll be one of them sooner. Say hello to Father Gascoigne. Okay. Wow, I actually got it. Now you do want to watch out for his uh, blunderbuss he has. You can deal a lot of damage if you're not careful. I'm trying to see if I can get a visceral attack on him. Changes his axe oh, it seems to, to a spirit like thing. It's enough to make a man sick. Huh? <laughs> Let's see if I can kill him before he gets into his next state. Hopefully I can. Oh, shoot, I'm out of bullets. That's not good. Boss fight is kind of tricky once you um, once you do figure it out. It's pretty easy. Okay, so like I said, one way to really get them is try to time the shots right with the gun. I have literally no bullets. That's not good. Um, one second. Let's go. I'm gonna head back to the the. Um, Hunter's Dream, buy some bullets, and I'll be right back at the door. We are back at the door to the boss fight. Okay, that was cheap. And where are my bombs? There it is. Any music box comes into play. Uh, It'll stun him for a few seconds to allow you to get it to But it only works for a couple shots. Once you get him down below a certain amount of health, it uh, well. Run to these stairs and start dodging.
Okay, so, after one death, finally, even though it was a little bit early, but it is to be expected in this boss fight because he is kind of hard, we received the Odin Key Temple, or Temple Key, which allows us to open this gate here, but before we actually go in there, I want to jump down here. This is the red jeweled brooch. That little girl that had us looking for her mother, that was her mother right there. She pretty much died trying to get her husband back, which in turn, believe it or not, is Father Gascoigne. It's kind of a sad thing. Most of the side quests ends up sad, but the majority of them don't. So, I mean, most of these side quests, we actually get some pretty decent weapons out of. But uh, this side quest in particular, it's it's kind of sad. So let's go ahead and climb up this ladder. And we are presented into a room. Now uh, let me see, I think this is what we want to grab here. Which allows us... Yep. With that Blood Gem Workshop tool, once we go back to the Hunter's Dream, that is how we'll be able to upgrade our weapons and whatnot. So, I think we'll go ahead and end it off here, going into the church. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a thumbs up for the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Also, share this around. Get the video circulating, this and that. And, uh, yeah, again, hopefully everyone enjoyed. I also want to say first, before I go... Happy 4th of July to anyone who celebrates it. Happy whatever holiday it is, whatever religion it is. Happy whatever it is. <laughs> so again, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode.